between different nodes, you need shared storage. Uh, NFS is how we're going to do our shared storage. Now I'm using OpenFiler for our sh for um, our shared storage. You see it's got an IP address of 10.0.0.28 with on port 446. So let's go to let's go ahead and head over to OpenFiler. Ten zero zero twenty eight port four forty six, and I'll log in. All right, so I'm logged in. So we'll go to the shares tab, and you see I've already created a share. And if we scroll down, you can see I've given all systems on the ten zero 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 subnet read-write access for SIFs and for NFS. The SIFs part doesn't really matter for our cluster, but I did that uh, to make other things easier for me. Now the one thing that you've got to make sure you do that kind of caught me off guard was you have to click edit on options and make sure to set this UID GID mapping to no root squash. If it's set to root squash, your setup won't work at all and you'll pull your hair out all night. So after you make that change, you click update and then the change is made. Uh, if you want instructions on how to create this share initially, uh, see my tutorial on configuring OpenFiler. All right, so now that our um, our NFS share is set up, let's head back to our uh, KVM host. Now uh, the default location for storing the uh, virtual machine files are is under var lib oh, var lib uh, libvert images Is that right? yeah there we go and we'll do an ls command well that's odd for some reason our images folder is missing so let's just go ahead and create the images folder There we go. Now if we do an ls command, we got our images folder. So we'll go to we'll go into our images folder and I'm going to make a directory called uh, kvm shared. All right. Now, uh, since the default directory is images, I always create a folder underneath the images folder called kvm shared that I then mount to my nfs share. Uh, that way you know, it's, with it, it's under the default location, so it's easy to find. Uh, and then, uh, so I can still actually store files locally if I want to just put them in the images folder. But uh, I also have the shared storage under KVM shared. So now that I've uh, created my KVM shared folder, I need to mount the NFS share to the KVM shared folder. So I'll do mount type NFS, the IP address of my NFS server. IP address or host name, and then a colon, and then the path on the NFS server. So in that my case, it's mount vol group one, volume one, share one, and then the path I want to mount it to. In this case, I'll just mount it to KVM shared, and there you see it's now mounted. And if I CD into my KVM shared folder, you'll see there's files there that are on the NFS server right now. So let's CD out of there again. Now I have to set the permissions on this folder so that I'll be able to do everything I need to do. So I'm going to actually CD up one more level. I'm going to do chmod 755 recursively on the images folder. There we go, so we've set the permissions. Now the next thing uh, regards to NFS is there's this thing called SE Linux, which is something called a security driver. Uh, the security driver has the job of making sure your virtual machines don't interact with each other, don't interact with the host OS more than they're supposed to. 
Now by default they're not going to be able to operate over an NFS share. So we need to enter the set se bool command dash p for persistent meaning it'll stick around for a while. Then we'll do vert use NFS on. Now this command right here will allow uh, oh, could not set uh, could not change boolean oh, I mistyped it virt vert use NFS on. So this command can take about 30 seconds or so, so I'm just going to go ahead and pause the video while it runs. Alright, so that command is completed. So that means we are finished with configuring our NFS. The next step is to start configuring the, uh, the hypervisor so we can create virtual machines. Uh, so let's... Uh, the first thing we want to do is launch Vert Manager. Uh, you can do it either from the Applications menu, you see we got it here, or from a command prompt you can just type Vert Manager. Oops. Vert Manager. And you see that will launch it. Now at this time the hypervisor is not running and it's going to actually fail to connect to anything. That's okay. The reason why we were, create, why we were launching it was because we need to make sure that it creates the all the config files it's going to use so we can modify one of them. So we'll go to CD Etsy. Oh. Well that explains a lot. Apparently the libvert package didn't install earlier. So anyway, let's go to C Etsy uh, libvert. One moment. All right. So what I've done is I've re I've reissued the yum install command uh, up here somewhere. Yum install libvert. Uh, for some reason, when we ran the yum install earlier, it didn't install the libvert package. So I am just rerunning that command. So uh, that'll just take a moment to get this installed. There's nine packages, as you can see. Uh, once this is installed, then we'll be able to continue. Uh, this is the reason why the images folder was missing earlier when we went to uh, create the KVM shared folder. So now that that's installed, let's go ahead and check what we got in here. Where are we? All right. So now that libvert's installed, let's go ahead and launch our vert manager again. Uh, you know, actually, we need to start the. Uh, libvert d All right. So we started the libvert d. The libvert d is actually the hypervisor itself. And now we can start vert manager and it should be able to connect. There we go. So you see we've launched the vert manager and it's been able to connect. Now, if we do an ls, we should see a Oh, you know what? It's because we're still under the wrong directory. Let's go to etsy slash libvert. Alright, there we go. So now you see um, we're under Etsy libvert. We have a storage directory. This storage directory is what stores the configuration files for the storage settings uh, for virtual machines.